Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in Manitowoc, Wisconsin on Lake Michigan aboard the Nord 47 Navigator. Navigator is a 2005 model year, hull number 35 out of the very successful Nord 47 design by PAE. Navigator is a two stateroom, two head layout, which is really the preferred embodiment. She has a flybridge. When she was built, we went through, and I was the original build salesperson, went through all the different options on the previous boats and really put together a spectacular boat in my opinion. We have the lugger main engine with dry stack exhaust, keel cooled. That transitions up to a fiberglass stack, which has a much better profile on the boat. That leads to a steelhead crane for launching the dinghy. I'm actually talking to you on the boat deck right now. The dinghy is a Kareev 11 with a Honda outboard. The interior is teak. There is a lot of extra granite in there. It flows very nicely. For stabilization, we have ABT track active fin stabilizers. There's side power bow and stern thruster. Boy, the list just goes on and on. Air conditioning, just a lot of great information for me to share with you. Speaking of information, all of the details, the specifications, photos, layouts, pricing will be on jmys.com. So you can take a look at that. So we're underway. We're on our tour right now. Let me show you a little bit about the boat deck. Over on the starboard side is the dinghy. We used it earlier to take some underway footage, which we'll splice through on the video. The crane's on center line. You can launch the dinghy off to the starboard side or off the back. From this boat deck area, we can transition along the port side to go forward or up to the flybridge. Let's go look at the flybridge while we're here. Looking at the stack right now, some flag halyards, some new lines here. Flybridge has two chairs, two stid helm chairs. Take a seat here. So you can have captain and crew right up here. There's a bench seat back behind. Excellent visibility. It's a stainless steel bimini top. And then the clear glass opens and closes. So I've got this one fixed to show you what that looks like. This one's open, let a breeze in while you're underway. Of course, the, the chairs go up and down, swing around and pivot. For electronics, have an autopilot control so you can sit back and steer from here. Your main engine controls are Morse lever controls, angled steering wheel, jog lever for autopilot, two VHF radios, Nordhaven compass, bow and stern thruster, windlass control, searchlight, engine panel, and then a chart plotter radar for Uno right there on a nav pod. This is great visibility up here. I really like how it all flows. I'm going to come back behind here and get back down to the boat deck, show you how easy it is to transition here. And then you can walk along the port side deck. We'll walk up forward to the fore deck. So I'll follow you. Bracket right here for mounting the outboard if you want to. It's a couple steps down. Good safety. This Portuguese bridge gives you good railing on the sides. Pilot house door, Dutch door on either side. The foredeck itself right up here. I'm going to just hop over right here. Easy transition. We're in pretty calm seas and show you good size foredeck up here. Maxwell 3500 electric windlass. There's a lot of improvements that I'll talk about in more detail later, but one of them is the gypsy was redone and it's 400 feet of new chain, freshly painted chain stopper, a new mantis swivel. There's a lot of things that we've done here. The Freeman hatch gives you access down to the chain locker. That's all clean down there. There's three hatches up here. We're above the guest cabin up forward, two built-in lockers, two doorade vents, one for the owner stateroom, one for the guest stateroom, shore power connections on the port side of the Portuguese bridge, a wash down on the starboard side, good railing here. And from here, I come back down and we can walk back to the cockpit. Good rails, another Dutch door that lets you in and out of the pilot house here. Handrails, extra handrails were ordered when we put the boat together. I mentioned the ABT active fin stabilizers. I did not mention the flopper stopper pole here. So at anchor, you have a flopper stopper pole, which you can put out to the side. And then you come back, there's a boarding gate here. So this is a wide body. There's only one walking side deck on the starboard side. The port side, we push the salon all the way back over. Additional shore power connections aft, so you have shore power forward and shore power aft. The boat deck overhang comes about halfway, 
So you have some shade, reasonable headroom, but you could put a visor on here if you wanted more shade. We leave it like this because a lot of people like to fish and you can get a better set with your rod if you're fishing from here. Solus life ring. Another wash down here, cockpit shower. Coming back to the swim platform. This is where you'll arrive by dinghy often. Coming back out here. I know I should probably be wearing a, a vest or harness, but we're going pretty slow. Good staples, a folding swim ladder here. There's also a separate one down below that you could get if you fell in the water and needed to get out. So the cockpit has the crane compression post right in the center, the door into the salon. The lazarette is down below, and from here we'll go inside. So let's go take a look inside the boat. Very relaxing to be inside a board navigator. The salon and galley, the entry level, all on one level, easy to get around in here. On the starboard side, a comfortable semi-U-shaped settee with a custom table with teak inlay in it. Good headroom in the entire boat. Starts with the salon here. Carpeted floors, they're edge-bound carpets, teak and spruce soles. On the port side, another settee. There's an ottoman there for storing gear and just relaxing. Put your feet up there. As you come forward, you come to the galley over to port. Dry stack exhaust for the engine right through here. So we're on top of the engine room. There are some big hatches there that give you access for removing machinery if you need to. Also over on the starboard side, a custom TV lift was incorporated into the boat. And this is a new TV just put in in 2023. High, low, tucks in out of the way. Clothes washer and dryer, GE appliances right here built into this locker. Stairs up to the pilot house behind me and then coming into the galley. The granite selection was custom ordered when the boat was new, and there's also several surface areas in the boat that use the same granite. It's a feature that goes through the boat. Overhead storage locker to a basin sink right here. There's a freshwater spigot, Seagull 4, for teapot water, cooking water, making coffee. Uh, the blinds open up, of course. Opening port light right here, more storage. There is a new microwave convection oven. This was just installed earlier this year, 2023. Viking four burner propane stove and oven. Great cooking. Storage areas back behind, including a spice rack. There's a dishwasher here, a GE dishwasher. And then the Braun trash compactor, which unfortunately is out of service. It's very difficult to get a replacement for those, and but it does still serve as a trash bin. And then a Sub-Zero refrigerator with freezer drawers. Some more storage inboard. And then from here, you would easily transition back up to the pilot house. From the pilot house, you can go out either door or down forward to the straighteners. Tremendous amount of space in the pilot house of Navigator. The 47 really is a really great boat for operating underway, and we have the advantage of the flybridge above here. But in the pilot house, television screen, autopilot remote, VHF radio, fusion stereo. The wing engine controls are on shift levers, and here's the wing engine panel, so very easy to see there. Your helm, autopilot, depth, wind, Navnet VX2, which gives you chart plotter. Radar, main engine controls also on cables, bow and stern thrusters on toggles, jog lever for autopilot, chart plotter over here for Uno, windlass control, the yacht controller for operating the thrusters, engine, and windlass. You also have the horn right here, an additional VHF radio, closed circuit TV, up top, track active fin stabilizers, main engine panel. As I mentioned, the wing engine panel. Here is the Murphy gauge for the main. And then here's the Nordhaven 47 safety panel. Stid helm chair, easy to operate the boat right up here. You've got the angled helm, so that makes it easy to steer. Great visibility all the way around. You come up to the pilot house from the stairs at the lower level, galley salon level up here. As you do that on the starboard side is the wet locker. There's also a custom bookshelf that we designed for the boat. Back aft in the pilot house is the watch berth. That's a new design on the later model 47s to give you an additional place to sleep. And then there's a good set T L shaped out here. Doors on either side. You go out to the uh, boat deck and flybridge out the door on the port side, or you can also go down forward 
to the staterooms down below. Well lit up, very easy to get around, and all of your electrical breakers are over here on this island. We also did something custom. We put the generator and inverter panel right here in the bottom of this island so you could see it when you're down in the salon. Great, great pilot house. I love this boat, and you will enjoy operating the boat from the Stidhelm chair and looking around and having a great time. Down from the pilot house, you come to the lower level where the two staterooms are. You pass a refrigerator that's built into the stairway. The guest stateroom is forward. There's a pocket door here. This is one of the custom features when the boat was ordered. They have granite countertop here instead of the laminate. Custom bookshelves here. Two opening port lights, overhead lockers, overhead hatches. On the port side, a double bunk. And above that bunk is a pipe berth. There are two big hanging lockers forward. The one on the starboard side has shelves in it, which is easier for storing stuff. And then if I go forward, I'll show you the head and shower. Stand up headroom here, bifold door, Brereton freshwater toilet. Again, the granite with a sink. Opening hatch here, very large, extra storage. The mattress is a HMC custom inner spring. And then we transition from the landing into the owner stateroom. Owner stateroom is aft. The bed is aligned fore and aft, which is much more comfortable for underway. In the owner stateroom, you have a large hanging locker on the port side. There's another hanging locker bank on the port side as well with some drawers and a laundry hamper that opens up forward. This is the hatch that was up in the Portuguese bridge to let light and air come in here. Flat screen television. As I come back over from the bed, I can go over to the head over here. In the head, another Raritan freshwater toilet, stand-up shower with a stall. There are drawers underneath the bed, a lot of storage underneath the bed, opening port lights outboard on the port side, opening port light in the head, lockers, drawers. So this is your sleeping area. This is where your clothes are. This is your toilets, your shower, your sink, brush your teeth, all the getting ready type of stuff and cutting it at the end of the day is down here. And then from here, we can go into the engine room where all the machinery is located. So let's do that next. A couple steps down into the engine room. The gel coat in here is all white, which makes it much easier to reflect the light. There are some new LED lights in here. Of course, your main engine is the lugger right here. It is keel cooled, dry stack exhaust. A lot of the apparatus for the dry stack exhaust was replaced, including the muffler, a lot of the piping and the lagging during the current owner's use. Up forward is the supply tank. This is an aluminum tank that receives fuel from the two outboard fiberglass fuel tanks. They gravity feed to here. One of the brilliant designs that Nordhofen came up with was this gravity drain fuel system. It's easy to get around in here. I'm about 5'11", standing up straight here. Just make it. I think we put it in the headroom is a little bit less than that, but you can get around. You have the safety rails around the engine to give you some support underway. Outboard on the port side is the hydraulic tank for the stabilizers. Below a shelf are the Raycor fuel filters. Your fuel valves are up forward. There's a bilge pump down below. Over on the starboard side, you come down the steps here. There's a locker up forward with some through holes and various apparatus. There's also the active fin stabilizer. You can see that right here in this shelf. As you come back aft, here's the sight glass for this fiberglass fuel tank. As I come back aft here, my 12KW Northern Lights generator, easy to get to. Sound shield pops open for servicing. It's nice and clean in here. There's been some new hoses, new filters put in there. There's Delta T fans outboard on both sides. Access to the lazarette right through this door here. Of course, the wing engine over on this side. The wing engine has its own fuel tank, an aluminum supply tank. A new filter was added with a little drip guard, pretty cool. Fire suppression. All the overhead hatches are removable. If you had to replace any major machinery, you could do that. There is a new whale hot water tank back outboard. This is your Edson manual bilge pump. Some new Groco strainers. Easy access down into the bilge. Check the stuffing box right here. Get deeper right there. There's a reversal oil change system. Really easy to get around in this engine room. Everything is labeled, everything is easy to service. And then back behind me, the storage garage, and it's pretty crowded. 
Right here is the lazarette. The lazarette has new steering, lube, water maker, inverter outboard on the starboard side. This is the lazarette. There's a hatch above. And you come back in, you're in the engine room here. I love the engine room on the Nordhaub 47, easy to get around. This is really a great spot. And this will end our tour for Navigator. So thank you for your time. Enjoyed showing you around. We'd love to get you on board. We do that by appointment. You can call, text, or email me. My numbers are on the screen. I think the best way to really appreciate this boat and understand it is to get on board. We do that by appointment. I look forward to your call. We'll have all of this pricing, specifications, photos, details, layout, 360s, everything will be on jmys.com. You should have a pretty good understanding of the boat before you call, but I'd love to talk with you in more detail. Love to get you on board. Thank you for your time in watching this. I look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Hey trawler friends, thank you for watching the video. We love doing these videos. It's great having you on board. Great being out on the water. We do have over 100 videos on the JMYS YouTube channel. If you would like to subscribe, you can click the button. If you'd like a reminder on when the next video is gonna show up, you can click the bell, that'll give you a reminder. We really appreciate it when you give us those thumbs up. Thank you very much for that. We also like your comments. We like to respond to your comments. So please keep watching. Thank you for your encouragement. If you'd like to watch some other videos, we have a couple of them over here to click on. And there's always something new coming on the JMYS YouTube channel. Stay tuned and we'll stay in touch. Look forward to watching you and you watching me. Thank you.